Hey Plabbers, this is your Plab partner with a few more questions to stimulate your thinking. Keep learning and improving, reduce confusion and gain clarity. Now we have a 65 year old woman who has come with a painless discharging ulcer above her left ankle on the inner side. On examination the base of ulcer is red and is covered by a yellow fibrous tissue. The border is irregular and skin is tight. What is the likely diagnosis? The answer here would be a venous stasis ulcer. Although great details are not given about it. Um, venous ulcer are common in elderly population. Now they are prone for varicose veins which can then give rise to stasis of blood within the veins. Typically, a venous ulcer you will find over the medial malleolus on the inner side. It can be painful, but generally they are painless. Now, arterial ulcer is commonly on the lateral side of the foot or over the tibia. You will find other and, and uh, these could be over the tips of the toes. You will find in arterial ulcer other markers like pallor or intermittent claudication. Um, skin malignancy, the edges will be rolled over. Now there, there is no indicator for neuropathic ulcer, for example in diabetic neuropathy, but those ulcers happen either over the heel because of pressure point or in the toes. Okay, here we have a question about 20 year old man who complains of recent onset itching which followed a viral infection. There are numerous wheels of different sizes on his skin, particularly after he has scratched it. This can last for an hour or a few hours. What is the most probable diagnosis? The answer would be urticaria, which is a relatively straightforward uh, connection to the question here. He had a viral infection and some of such infections can trigger an urticaria. Um, although urticaria can be triggered by allergens, uh, often a few viral infections and a few bacterial infections can also set it off. Generally, um, you would need to differentiate it from other itchy conditions, one of them other itchy skin conditions, one of them being eczema. Um, other itchy skin conditions being scabies or sometimes dermatitis herpetiformis. Um, now this is a short duration history so the patient cannot have chronic uremia or can't be psychogenic there's no other indicators for this and obviously obstructive jaundice can lead to uh, itchy, itchy conditions but again there's no indicators for any of those. Okay, a 45 year old man has presented with disfigurement of nose. He has a previous history of facial erythema, particularly over cheeks and nose. Papules and pustules have been erupting at intervals over the last 10 years. He admits to a moderate regular consumption of alcohol. Examination shows rhinophyma. What is the most likely diagnosis? Now this is a tricky question with a rare presentation of acne rosacea which is inflammation of the blood vessels and pilosebaceous ducts. Now obviously with such a presentation localized to the face in an elderly person is not eczema. And papules and pustules again don't point towards eczema. Dermatomyositis is a condition with a violaceous appearance of parts of skin but over time presents with myositis, swallowing difficulties and none of those have been mentioned here with a 10 year history. Tinea versicolor presents with a fine scaly lesion over the trunk and is kind of a fungal infection. Pemphigus vulgaris no features of that. Acne rosacea will present with rhinophyma, which is chronic soft tissue swelling and inflammation over the nose, typically in men. 
Now, acne rosacea can be worsened um, with the appearance of hot flushes when exposed to heat, sunlight, or with stress, alcohol, spices. Generally, treatment is moisturizing or using antibiotics, either topical like metronidazole or using doxycycline or azithromycin to look to kind of uh, take care of the underlying chronic infection. There is a 15 year old girl who has developed an itchy scaly patch on her scalp. She had a similar patch that cleared away spontaneously two years ago. Her aunt has a similar but undiagnosed rash on the extensor aspects of her elbows and knees. What is the single most likely diagnosis? So this teenage girl has psoriasis, which is often familial. Many times it is undiagnosed and psoriasis commonly affects extensor surfaces of joints. Eczema generally happens in infants or young children and would have an itchy inflamed skin mainly on flexor surfaces of arms and legs but can be on other parts of the body as well. Fungal infection if this happens on the scalp would lead to a patch of alopecia. Impetigo is main is common in face but has a honey like secretion golden secretion and inflamed skin underneath and is quite infectious so there may be many lesions lichen planus is a chronic condition where you have a whitish shiny skin area with a lace like appearance over it common in the palms and in the perineum we have a four-year-old boy who presents with itching in his hands. When you examine, you find his skin is actually dry and inflamed red. His mother is asthmatic and older brother has hay fever. What is the likely cause for his skin condition? In this case, it is going to be eczema. There is no indicators for any drugs causing this skin condition. There is nothing which, men which suggests that the child would have chronic renal failure, so no uremia. Scabies would have excoriations and papules and pustules uh, mainly in the finger spaces but also they may have a generalized distribution for example on the trunk, on the buttocks um, and would have contacts with other people with similar condition. Dermatitis herpetiformis is a chronic condition, generally in third or fourth decade, um, with intense itching. There is a related confusing term which is eczema herpeticum. Now that is a viral infection with herpes in people who are already having underlying eczema, so that is different. But this, this child has a family history of atopy with mother having asthma and brother having hay fever and such allergic conditions run in the family and eczema is one of those allergic conditions. Yes, it is always good to refresh the topics that you found tricky. Spend a few minutes reading around those topics that you know less about. Finally guys, leave a comment or press a like button to encourage us to upload more videos like these.